Black Blizzard is a very special level to me because as a lot of you know, I'm from a Northern Canada and uh, well, let me tell you a story. When I was born, my parents got the car stuck on the way to the hospital and I was born on the side of the road in a black blizzard. My dad was ready though and he had already prepared the Canadian traditional baby birthing maple syrup bottle that I came out of. The grizzly bears were ready as well to perform an ice hockey roadside baptism in the middle of the black blizzard. And that is why this level is very special to me. Uh, what's up everyone though? How's, how's it going? So this is basically the first stream of Black Blizzard. Um, I did grind this out a lot for the 12 Demons of Christmas though. I basically was playing it like every day for two weeks. Uh, partway into the Black Blizzard grind, I actually got my Carpal Tunnel started coming up again and I was like, oh no. Last time I was streaming this, I was doing some easy demons. I was doing the ten, top 10 worst easy demons. And then my game crashed and apparently my save data got corrupted. So all my Black Blizzard grind stuff is gone. Like I'm at 13% still, even though like I should be at 67. So it says 13, but it really is 67%. Oh boy, normal mode, man. Are you ready to watch me die to the beginning over and over and over? Excited? I'm actually doing it decently, damn. Wow, I should have died there. A fluke. Uh, wow. Uh, that shouldn't have happened. Cool. <laughs> Yo, all right, 27 right away. It's not a new best. I've gotten 67. I lost my save data. I've gotten 67. Even though it does feel nice to get those sweet orbs. Now I'm going to die to the beginning over and over. That's so hard, dude. Like, I like the uniqueness of a lot of the timings at the beginning of the level, but that one is so inconsistent. That was so close. I just, you stupid idiot bird. <laughs> you idiot orb. Dude, I wasn't far enough over. I wasn't far enough over to the right, so when I hit the green orb, I didn't actually bounce up. I just, like, bounced. Oh, that triple input is so hard, dude. Ah, ha, ha! Oh, my God! Finally, man. Oh, yes. What? Dude, I like fell too far forward. That's a pretty bad place to die, actually. That sucks. I'm glad we passed that threshold of like getting to the drop. Oh, just barely, you stupid, stupid yellow jump orbs of doomy poops. There should be an option in the game for show hitboxes on death. Not just show hitboxes in normal mode, but show hitboxes on death for sure. So you can see the geometry of what you're playing. The actual geometry. It's called geometry dash. Wouldn't it make sense to see the geometry? I understand not having like show hitboxes like while you're playing, like show hitboxes all the time. I understand like not having that in the game because that's like you could cheat. You could just you just cheat levels, right? Like memorization levels and stuff. But like show hitbox on death though, I wouldn't consider cheating. And I think that's like should be in the game. For some levels though, I agree. It would it kinda is cheating. Like levels that have like some really hard invisible jumps at the beginning, you know? Um, but it is weird kind of banning it for all levels though. You would think like as a newcomer to the game. You would think the spikes, like, just touching the spike would kill you, but it's not true. Only touching, like, inside the spike kills you. Like, that little red box, right? I think, like, show hitbox on death would just be a good way to... If it was in the game, it would be a good way to teach people, like, what to expect. Oh, I can actually, like, dip into the spike a little bit while I'm flying? Ah, you know? I wonder how much, though. And then, oh, I, I saw show hitbox, and now I see. So it, it, I think it's, like, a good, like, educational tool for people to use. That's the thing is like on memorization levels, even show hitboxes on death, you'd like go into a level in practice mode and then you die and you'd be like, oh, that's the route to take. You wouldn't like experiment with things. But then again, if I don't know how to do a memorization level, for example, like if I was having trouble with Nightshade or Limbo or 
Nelv or something. You know what I would do immediately? I would just pull up a YouTube video and I'd see someone else play it and I go, oh, that's how you do it. So like show hitboxes, it kind of is the exact same thing as that, but I get to do it myself, which is more fun. Is it a big deal to practice it with hitboxes on and then turn it off for the completion? Like, is it a big deal? Hmm, interesting. Oh, dude, I usually only have to hit two of the orbs there. I usually don't have to hit three, but I was too far over the left. I quit. I'm going. I swear. I'm just. Why am I even playing right now? Like, why am I in front of the computer playing Black Blizzard when I'm so bad right now? Oh, come on. I was mashing both the both the space bar and the mouse down there. You hit the orb before you went out of the thing? I've never done that before, ever. Oh, dude, I went up too far. Wow, really? Oh, come on, dude. I went down too early. At least I died to 69. <laughs> the funny. Yeah. Too early. I need to press it just a little bit slower. Dude, I just had to get through there, man. Just had to get through there and I'm really confident in the duel in the robot part. Oh, come on. You kidding me? Come on! Ah, oh, that never happens to me. That happens, that used to happen to me, but I haven't had that happen to me in practice in a long time. Oh, come on, dude. Ah, oh, so close. Like a handful of inputs away, easy inputs away from the end. I thought I had that felt so good. I just need to be a little bit slower on those inputs, just a little bit. <laughs> Are you ready for some maple syrup and hockey sticks? This was the biggest struggle I've ever had. Yes! Oh! Oh! Dude, I was so nervous at the end. I cannot believe today was the day. I was not feeling good today. Oh, dude, it was rough. Oh, I didn't expect to beat it today. I did not expect to beat it today. Oh, it's over. I'm oh. Dude, I wanted to do this for the 12 demons of Christmas, and this proved to be... 
This was like mentally probably the most difficult challenge I've done so far. Objectively speaking, according to people, artificial ascent and digital ascent is harder than this. But man, for me, this level's harder because I'm not as good at like gimmicks, which isn't, a, you know, I'm not saying the gimmicks are bad, but at the beginning of the level, there's tons of gimmicks. Like as you're falling, you got to jump at the edge of this platform to get a little bit of an extra jump off this one jump. You got to do these light inputs late to like graze the bottom is the green jump orbs. There's like three light inputs. There's all these like weird. I'm not good at that stuff, man. I'm good at like direct skill based stuff. Like here's a tight ship. Do that tight ship. I'm good at that tight wave. I can see what I got to do and I do it. So like digital ascent, artificial ascent, they're more straightforward levels. You know, they're straightforward. I get them. This was so mentally challenging for me learning this, which is I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I 100% glad I did it. I needed this apparently because I'm terrible at this kind of gameplay. I'm so I'm so glad I was able to do it. Oh, oh my God. Wow, that came out of nowhere, dudes. I hadn't even made it to the duel today yet. So it says 6,873 here. And then here it says 6,508, which would be about around 13,200. However, I lost my data like a few weeks ago. And that had like a week and a half of grinding on Black Blizzard, like a, a week, a week and a half. I lost like 15,000 attempts or something. It's probably like 33K, right? I would say. This level's interesting because playing it from zero is a mental struggle. It is a rough level to play from zero. It is so easy to get down on yourself and like just have an overall negative experience. With that said though, each of the individual parts and like learning this level, learning this level is some of the most fun I've had learning a level. Like just sitting down with him being like, how does this work? Oh, that's cool. Well, how does this work? Oh, that's really neat. And like learning the ins and outs of the level. It's really cool. But playing it from zero is rough. So it's like, I appreciate this level. Like I think it's a, it's good, but it's, it is a mental struggle. Uh, thank you for all the support. You guys are lovely. I'll see you in videos. I'll practice a new extreme demon. Probably be an easier extreme demon. Like I said, probably a nine circles, easier extreme, like 10th circle or something. I'll see you guys then as always. Peace.